What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. In this one, we're going to continue our class setup build uh, experimentation here. And we're going to go for the tank. Now obviously for this one, if we're just going big beefy tank, we want defense. And that's why we have the crusty roly-poly armor on. Now there's a few different ways we can go with this. I've been messing with it and I almost didn't want to make this one because it's really difficult for anybody, at least solo, to try and want to play just a big beefy tank. The only place I would recommend this is, uh, is if you're in somewhere close quarters, like maybe the Haze Lab or the Black Ant uh, Cave, something like that, to where you're not having to run around a lot. That way you can just focus using your stamina on the insects that are around that area, or the enemies, rather. So let's look at our setup here. Obviously, we have the Krusty Roly Poly gear, which has given us uh, invincible shielding for the set bonus and block stun with, with each set piece. So the block stun is what it's going to do is each time you uh, have a successful block, it doesn't have to be a perfect block, any successful block is going to fill up the insect's uh, stun gauge a lot quicker. And by that way, you're going to once you fill that up sooner, you're going to be able to get a lot more stuns off. But with how much damage we actually do, you're probably only going to see maybe one stun. And then the invincible shielding, if we look at that one, that one's going to repair your... Uh, Repair your shield on a block as well. Again, doesn't have to be a perfect block. Any block has a chance to repair your shield. So since we are going to be using a shield in this setup, these three weapons right here are basically out. I mean, they're going to do the, the heavier damage, but to get the bonus from the invincible shielding and the blocks done here, we need a shield to do that. So what I'm going to look at using is either the Salt Morning Star, and obviously it's not uh, upgraded all the way, our Black Ant Sword with the Black Ant Shield, and or a uh, Mosquito Needle. And you can see the, the only one with a stun at all on this is going to be the Mosquito Needle, but the idea is that we're blocking to build that stun meter on the insects. So this is really one where you want to focus on blocking. It's a really good way to practice your perfect blocks, because the more perfect blocks you get off, especially if you're using Perry Master, which I plan on using for this setup, it's going to refund your stamina on a perfect block. So that's another way to bring stamina in as well as stun the enemy because stamina in this one, we're wearing heavy armor. Our stamina is going to burn really quick. So we're probably looking at using just the black ant sword and shield to start with. Um, the stun, we'll be able to get more stuns off with the salt morning star. So it's really kind of pick your poison with what kind of weapon you want. Uh, we could go with the Stinger Spear for the crit hit chance because I also have Coup de Grass on, which is going to give us that additional 25% uh, crit chance right here. Uh, max Stamina and uh, Cardio Fan for the uh, Hyper Stamina as well, or Buff Lungs and Cardio Fan, because we want as much stamina as we can get while we're fighting. And again, we're not going to be worried about this when we're running around traversing the backyard. I would really only use this in close quarter combat areas like the Black Ant Hill, like the Haze Lab. Um, maybe in some of the other labs. But So if you're running around the backyard, I probably wouldn't use this. I mean, you can. There's other ways to traverse the backyard rather than just running, right? We have our zip lines and stuff where we can get around. So it's not the worst setup. But I think uh, using this as a solo player wouldn't be very beneficial now if you're able to do multiplayer and say you do have somebody set up in ranged or you have somebody set up as kind of like a support dps then that'd be great to have somebody just a solo tank to uh draw the aggro so to say get the insect on you and then they can just do all the damage while you're taking the brunt of the uh the hits from the insects so we're gonna head over and see if we can't find a wolf spider maybe a stink bug uh some bombardier beetles or something like that try it out on some orb weavers and then we'll go from there so these I'm going to leave here. Like I said, we're using our shields, so we don't need these weapons. We'll keep the Salt Morning Star. Although I'm not the biggest fan of it, I think we're just going to roll basically just like this. We go straight Roman Knight looking uh, setup, and then we'll go look for some insects. And plus, with it being the heavy armor, once your stamina drains, it's going to take three seconds before it even starts to, uh, to regenerate. If you look at the stamina bar down here at the bottom left, when I stop, you can count to three literally before it starts regenerating. One, two, three, and then it starts regenerating. So again, just something else to uh, focus on, but we wanna be able, we know we're gonna be taking hits. That's why we have our shield and that's why we have the heavy armor with the highest defense at 
four bars. So let's go pick on an orb weaver over here and see if we can get some of these blocks off and stuns off. I do want to set up my bow just to get their attention. See, we got a crit hit right there. See, the black ant sword is going to do a lot of damage against uh, any of the insects, really. The thing is, though, you saw him hit me and he doesn't really do a lot of damage. See, so we got a lot of damage off on that one. Let's go ahead and switch to the Salt Morning Star and try this guy out. Sounds like a guy's sleeping over here. We can go wake him up. I want to avoid using the bow just to see what kind of damage we can do with the melee weapons. You stop walking away. See, that's going to get your stuns off a lot quicker. You can switch weapons too, so... Get that, get the mosquito needle out for any damage you take just to get the mosquito needle off and then uh, replenish some of your health is a great way to do it. But I want to go try this with the wolf spider. I want to try it without using uh, Mithridatism. See if we can get our blocking uh, where it needs to be where in this particular setup. And the good thing with this, like I said, is it, it's going to force you to use your shield. So you're going to want to focus on getting those perfect blocks, especially with the parry master and the... Uh, the set bonuses so any block you get is going to give you the stun and the chance to repair your shield if you get that perfect block it's going to refund your stamina a lot quicker to get off more attacks let's see if a wolf spider friend is over here who's been hanging out with an orb weaver lately so wants to be stuck in the uh come on out so you got the stun off but by the time you get the stun off you're already killing him so i think the wolf spider is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge let's see if he's up here he is not home at the moment making our job a little bit more difficult considering we got to go hunt him now i don't think i've killed that one recently so he should be around here somewhere We can go check in the uh, under the oak tree for the other two, but I think I recently killed them, so they may not be in there. I think we're just gonna have to run around looking for the other guy. If we don't find the one over here, then I'll just head over by the uh, some of the other locations for the wolf spiders. Oh, there is one in here. He's sleeping. All right, so. I want to do this without Mithridatism. I don't know if we want to try to get the stun and then go crit. We can try that. So let's switch the Stinger Spear to four. We'll try to get the stun with the uh, the Salt Morning Star and then switch over to the Stinger Spear and keep in, in line with trying to get our uh, perfect blocks. That did not work out very well. Got the sun off there. That did not work out too well. Again, I'm not the greatest with getting perfect blocks off, and especially with the wolf spiders, I don't really know their attacks because, honestly, with the uh, hot and hazy update, getting the antlion great sword, you just kill them too quick. So we can go find some uh, stink bugs. We'll go check out the stink bug down here. See what we can do to him, considering he has the uh, the gas attack. So that's something else you can do too. If you've got spicy safety from eating the, uh, the spicy shards, you can get the smashing resist and stabbing resist, which is also useful. So you're not going to take as much damage. You can also throw on fresh defense for the uh, for the gas and burn resist too. So we're going to throw that on. We're going to take off. We're going to take off buff lungs and try to throw this guy on here. Get a fiber bandage on real quick, and then we'll go down here and try this out. There's our stink bug friend right here. 
And you can also still use the crossbow and try to get the uh, get the stun off of the crossbow. But as a stun, right? Yeah, but super low chance. One and a half chance to stun. Or one and a half towards filling their uh There we go, got the stun. Now we just poke him to death and get out of the uh get out of the haze. Out of the gas rather. A little bit more dangerous, but so we can do some melee action with this. Again, I'd still recommend this in uh, close quarters. Even if you're over in the uh, sandbox fighting ant lions, I'd probably stick with the uh, the black ant sword and the black ant shield. But again, if you're playing multiplayer with this, then it's a great class just to sit there and you be the uh, the meat shield, so to say. If you guys are familiar with MMO games, you've always got your tank, which is the meat shield. Meat shield. He's the one that's going to take all the damage while everybody else the uh, does the attacking. So. Maybe we can go crush a larva real quick. We get the stun. A one poke with a spear. So again, it's not a terrible setup. The one major negative and gripe that I have with this setup is the crusty roly-poly armor itself. If we look at repairing this, it's going to take you, I think, seven roly-poly parts and three roly-poly shells. So you got four roly-poly parts for the uh, helmet. Whoops. And it's going to be four for the leg plates, so seven total, and then three roly-poly shells. So, not the best. It's got the blocks done. It's got invincible shielding, which is great. You see my shield isn't even damaged. Uh, you've got a multitude of different weapons you can use with one-handers with the shield. The blocks done, the parry master. So, if you're getting some of those mutations off, especially if you're really good at uh, perfect blocking, you should be able to maintain your stamina pretty well with this uh, with this setup, but... So that's our straight up tank class. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are having a good time using the roly poly armor, what kind of setups do you use? Do you prefer the black ant sword? Are you guys going morning star? You guys going to club of the mother demon, mint maze, salt morning star, like I said, or uh, anything else. So I'm curious to see what you guys builds are just like with the archer build that I wanted to try out. I got a lot of great feedback about other people's setups on that. And I'm hoping you guys enjoy this little series that we're doing. So let me know again in the comments, what you guys prefer. And that's all we got for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already. All the good things I ask you every single video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Stay original, my friends. Later.